Hello, welcome to my channel. I am Beverly and these are my twins. <laughs> yeah, I'll call them my twins. I received them on the first, um, on the first, I received them on the same day from my sweet husband. And so my sewing machine is called Grace and that other one is my um, embroidery machine. I'm really excited about that. And she is called Joy. Brings me lots of joy. However, we were going to talk about those another day. Today we're here to talk about this sewing kit that was gifted to me for Mother's Day um, by my son-in-law. And he made a point. They made a point to say he picked it out. So this makes it even, you know, more more special. Singer, so it goes. So that's that's a cute name. That's a cute name. So. I have been just recently became part of a what do you call it quilting group and so I think this is why they thought this would be appropriate as well as my shoes over there so for Mother's Day this is what I have so let's look and see what's in it let's look I love it one first of all before I even open it you see you just carry it you know if you're going out of town and you want to take a few, few little summer projects with you which I've you know, I've taken some things with me, but this makes everything so concise and everything is right there for you. Or if you want to just go to another part of the house or so, you put it, you have it there. But anyway, the first thing I had to learn was how to open this thing because I didn't read directions. But it's simple. Just pick this little latch here, just pull it down, and then it just lifts up. Here it is. Voila. Beautiful, beautiful 18 spools of thread. And uh, then let's go do this. Now, I could not call this an unboxing because I already unboxed it. I couldn't wait. No, I wasn't even thinking about that. I wasn't even thinking about making a video. But then hey, later on, I said, oh, okay, I want to share this. All right, so, um, so now we have the little ones. Oh, yeah. Can you see this? They have these little spindles, I guess. Anyway, it keeps it organized, so it's not gonna move all move all over the place. You can probably see it better here. See right here. So even if you use up this thread, you can put it by another one and just you know put it on. So you have 18 colors here and then here. There's a bit more there. I think it's about 25 of these. So you have some of the same colors and you have some new colors. Because I don't think we have that color. So this is like for your hand sewing. You know, get your needle and thread out for something. And then, don't you like how they open up? So this one, oh, they put some bobbins in here as well. Can you see that, the bobbins? And then I could put something else in there too. How about, now, wait a minute. <clears throat> now this didn't come with the kit. This is just my fusible web. You know, I could put that in there. And then, um, ah, wait a minute. Here, this is made to come out. So I was like, because it opens on both sides. It opens there and then it opens on this side. And so over here we have pins. Now this did come with the kit. So you have the threads, small and big, and then pins. I think there's about a hundred of them. Hmm. I always need safety pins, girl. I don't know. I always need some safety pins. I'm looking. Especially when I go travel. All right, so then we have a needle threader, which I have to say I really don't know how to use. Shame on me, because I've been sewing for a minute. And then you have thimbles and needles. There's about 100 needles in there. No, there can't be no 100. 30 needles. 30 needles in there. I think it's about 30 they said. <coughs> and at the top, there's a little hole because I've already used it. Sure did. I used it before I even returned home. Got on the plane. <coughs> All right, so um, put it, put the little hole on the needle that you want, and then you just turn it out, and it don't, you'll only get that needle. You won't. Everything won't fall out. It's just going to be that needle that you want. But I've kind of, I don't want it to come. All right, and then, so that's good. Let me put this back. 
On the other side, we have buttons. You always need a button. And other fasteners. So just other fasteners. Um, snaps and hooks. All right, so let's put this back. I want to put it back the way I had it. Voila! <laughs> like I said, I already opened this. This is my thread. I can't call it an unboxing. But what about after the unboxing? All right, so, and then scissors. I cannot get enough scissors. You never have enough scissors. And then we have this. You may hate to do it, but they come in handy. The seam ripper and then the, uh, a little cute pen cushion. Now, so you still have room to add more things. And one of the things I add, I don't know, some of y'all may have to do it too. Some reading glass. These are just some, you know, cheap little reading glass. I'll put those in. Sometimes you can't read something. Patterns. Alright. And um, let's put something in this one. Here I'm gonna put um what do you call these? Clamps. Put the clamp, because sometimes I use clamps instead of pins. Yeah. And another thing, you probably have, might have something around the house or the Dollar Tree. You can get yourself a little magnet. I have several, but I'm just showing you this one little magnet in case you do need to pick up those stray pins that fall or something and keep it up and just voila it's good to have in here so um, I'll put that in there keep that around okay go and that is it this darling this is so so nice so I really appreciate my gift and you know what it's practical useful and it definitely will be used right so it's not like one of those gifts you like maybe use it you know a couple of times a year I will be using this quite often so thank you <laughs>